Hello everyone, this is Jonathan with Key Renter Property Management in Austin, Texas. Today I'm here at 615 Palo Duro Loop in Round Rock, Texas. I'm going to be giving you a full walkthrough video tour of the home you see here in front of you today, both inside and out. Today is a little bit of an overcast day, so I apologize for that. The lighting is not the best, but uh, hopefully it still gives you a good idea of what the home looks like. This is a beautiful home, both inside and out, in a very, very desirable, uh, high-quality neighborhood. Um, it's four bedrooms, three and a half bath. It's nice and large inside, uh, and a great community with lots of amenities, including a community pool as well. So I'm going to pause the video at this point, and I will resume once I'm back inside the home. All right, so I'm now inside the front door, standing here in the foyer area, just looking into the interior of the home. Got a tile floor entry area here, as well as a very, very tall soaring ceiling going up to the second story. Hopefully you can get a perceptive of that with a nice wrought iron balcony overlooking there from the upstairs game room, which we'll show you in a moment. I'll just start here on my left hand side with the office area. It's a nice large front facing office double windows. Obviously this room could be used for a variety of purposes besides an office, but it would make an ideal space. It does have that nice front facing double window for lots of natural light coming through into this office space. And you'll also note the double French doors here that do open back out into the uh, entry area of the home. We'll go ahead and proceed further at this point. Here to my left as well, in this sort of secondary entry area, you've got the uh, hall bath, linen closet there on the right hand side. I won't go into that uh, little area just at the moment. It's probably pretty self-explanatory, but I've got a fairly nicely sized uh, hall bath here, as well as an additional storage linen closet here. I'm going to show you this one because it is a little bit different. It is nice and large. It actually wraps around completely around for some additional sort of a small walk-in linen closet storage as well, which is very nice. So we'll exit this hall bath here and we will proceed on to the living areas. You've got a staircase with a really beautiful wrought iron railing and a dark hardwood railing as well that leads up to the second story. But uh, first we'll begin here in the main living area. Nice, very nice uh, oversized, what I would consider oversized, large, large living room area. Really high vaulted ceilings as well. Feels nice and nice and open. Again, not a lot of natural light throughout this room as well. Opens to the kitchen, which I'll show you in a moment as well in detail. And just giving you opposite perspective from the other corner here of the living room. And so just spinning around backwards here, I've got the dining room area with double windows uh, facing the rear and the side yards. Um, not this one window has a nice uh, extra deep large window seat in it as well. And I'll go ahead and pivot here to show you the kitchen area. Nice large kitchen. You'll notice the granite countertops, tile backsplash, stainless appliances as well. Nice cabinetry also, very modern and updated. And then just pivoting from the other side of the room just to give you extra perspective here. And you have some additional cabinet storage here down below as well, which is really nice. A lot of storage and work area in this kitchen. To my immediate right here is a, a walk-in pantry as well for additional storage. I won't go in there behind that door at the moment, but uh, it's a nice additional space as well. Before I proceed to the other areas, just a quick note, this, uh, this door that you see right here does exit to the backyard, fully fenced backyard. I'll try to give you a quick shot of the backyard at the very end of the tour. And before we leave the downstairs and journey upstairs, just a quick note, this, uh, the door you see directly ahead of you does lead to the two-car garage. And then laundry room here at my left side does have electric and gas hookups for the dryer. 
some additional built-in shelving. This is a nice, a nice large uh, laundry room for sure. Plenty of storage and just extra space in here. All right, we're going to exit this hallway and travel to the upstairs area. Just before I go up, I'm just going to give you kind of a quick shot from down below just to give a, an idea of the space. It is nice and open, as I mentioned earlier. I'm going to pause the video at this point and resume at the top of the stairs. All right, at the top of the stairs at this point, I'm going to first just uh, show you a couple of things. First of all, the nice large game room, which is up here. It does have two windows facing the side yard. It's quite a, quite a large a second living room area up here and perspective from the opposite corner of this, uh, this game room area. And we'll go ahead and proceed to bedroom number one which is right here off of this hallway. Really cool feature, you've got four total windows in this room, three small ones that face the front yard up high just to give some additional lighting, and then uh, one facing the side yard as well. And just perspective from the opposite corner here, closet area as you can see with the double bifold doors. All the bedrooms in here in the house are, are very nicely sized. There's nothing that's too small. Uh, it's great, great sizes throughout. And we'll exit bedroom number one and pivot left here and show you the um, one of the hall baths here. This bathroom, could, you, could, you could say, is sort of dedicated to that room that I just left a moment ago. Tub shower combo, tile floor, and vanity area here. And we'll exit the hall bath. You do have another linen closet here to my left behind that door. And we'll proceed onward to bedroom number two and three, as well as an additional hall bath. Linen closet there on my left-hand side, an additional one. And bedroom number two here to my left. This is probably the smallest of the bedrooms. If um, yeah, It's probably the, probably the smallest one of the four that exist. It's a shot on the other side of the room. Very similar closet to the bedroom you saw previously. And secondary hall bath here. This one actually is larger. It does have a double vanity, which is nice. It's a larger bathroom than you saw previously. Same tile floor. And a tub shower combo, very similar to what you saw previously here behind this wall. And toilet area there. Okay, so we'll exit this bathroom and proceed on to bedroom number three. This is a really large bedroom, nice double windows that look out over the front yard area. Just some perspective from the other side of the room here. This one actually does have a walk-in closet as well, so I'll pop this door open just to give you an idea. Pretty large walk-in closet for a secondary bedroom. And so we'll exit bedroom number three at this point and proceed back down the hall. And guys, I apologize. Uh, this home is, is so large, um, I accidentally forgot to show you the entire master suite on the first floor. So I'm going I'm to pause the video at this point and uh, give you a good, a good tour of that area as well. It's obviously a very important area, so my apologies. We'll resume in just a moment. So I'm back downstairs in the living area at the foot of the staircase, as you can see at this point. And you've got a small hallway here off of the, the main living areas. should pause and just mention there is a Nest uh, thermostat here as well, which is a, a nice upgrade feature for the tenant. And so we'll proceed onward into the master suite at this point. Uh, really nice, very large master bedroom. Got double windows facing the backyard. Recessed ceiling here with a ceiling fan. Um, nice paint colors throughout, by the way. Uh, I should mention that. It's a nice, a nice touch that's uh, very modern and updated throughout. And then just looking at the uh, opposite perspective here, back towards the entry door as well as the master bath door. Go ahead and proceed onward into the master bath area as well. You've got a double vanity, nice and large. Stand up shower, nice, nicely updated tile surround in the shower area. 
window exiting or uh, rather viewing the side yard area and then a nice uh, the large garden tub as well the two doors you see here the first one here on the left it does uh, house the toilet area extra privacy there and then the um, really nicely sized walk-in closet here in the master suite it's almost like a small bedroom in here We've got some nice built-in shelving there, as you can see. And a really, really nice large, large walk-in closet here for sure. And just wanted to give you a quick shot before we conclude the tour of the outdoor areas. This is a nice concrete uh, patio. It is fully covered, which is nice in the hot summer months. Just a quick shot here of the backyard area. Again, fully fenced. And that does conclude our video tour today. Hopefully you found it helpful and thank you very much.